Hello and welcome to the Living Strong Ministries podcast. We need to live for an eternal kingdom. An eternal kingdom. We need to be kingdom minded. Well, the truth is all of us are kingdom minded. But which kingdom are you mindful of? I guess that's really the question. Hmm. It all started when I was a little boy. I remember this. I was going to have my own kingdom. Matter of fact, remember, we got all these good cartoons that told us we can have our own kingdom. Richie Rich, Cinderella, Alf. <laughs> all these cartoons telling us that we can have our own kingdoms. Matter of fact, I wanted to be Michael Jackson. <laughs> What's funny is, is, is I'm not joking. Matter of fact, you stop laughing because I'm telling the truth here. <laughs> As I got older, I thought I was beginning to look like him because I noticed my complexion was getting darker. <laughs> or was his complexion getting lighter? I don't know which. But I finally wised up. I realized that it would be scarier than a thriller to be like Michael Jackson. It would be dangerous. <laughs> so I took all my albums and I threw them against the wall. I said, Michael Jackson, beat it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going back to the ABCs and the one, two, threes. <laughs> so I called up my friends. I said, You <laughs> picked me up. I took off my sequin glove. <laughs> I took off my hot water pants and my sequin socks, and I pulled up my Billy jeans. I'm almost done. That was even funnier. But anyways, no, really. You know. But I decided to leave that behind. But I knew he'd always be there because he told me. Now, I'm done. <laughs> okay. But the truth, actually, I really did like Michael Jackson. But anyways, you know, I was I was a plus Michael Jackson fan. Matt like new kids on the block. When you get oh. <laughs> He had a picture of Danny, Donnie, Joe, John, and Jordan up in his room. <laughs> and Mark Wahlberg. The reason why I knew the name of that is Sheriff sure, Roman. I'm not told. It's just so old, but, anyways. but no, it did. It started when we, were, when we were kids, right? We think about the things that we want. Oh, when I get older, I'm going to have a, a mansion that has 10 rooms with 15 bathrooms. I'm going to have a boat that goes around my house. I'm going to have a yacht that's sitting in, 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 in the ocean just outside of my house. Call it the Gelatin, or the Pacific, or something like that. I would be the, the lord of my own life. I'd be the prince of my own palace. The king of my own kingdom. <laughs> it's evil. Listen to me, Christian. It's evil. When we think that we're going to be able to lord over our own lives, be the king of our own kingdoms, this is true stuff. We laugh, but we laugh because it's so true. We were all there when we were younger. But we get older and we say, oh, I wish I could, I just want my own business because I want to rule it all. Or I just want to, I don't want to have to answer to anybody. I want a nice big house with nice cars and all of that. And the devil will try to tempt you to go after this kingdom of your own. Because if you're after your own kingdom, you won't be after God's and you're no threat to Him. Visit our website at www.joeprenito.com That's www.joeprinito.com